Today on Jeremy Rides, we're gonna see if we can lift this snowmobile using our hands with this tiny little rope. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamin's in my pocket. I trade in my truth for some robins. And he's playing Batman, but he's gonna rob him. Yeah. I got the Glock in my rock. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah. I got the Glock in my rock. 17 shots, no 38. Yeah, she's fine. Wondering what she means. Walk past our prayers. What is that? <laughs> I see Mike over there. Oh man, <laughs> he hit my truck with a firework. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> you hit my truck with a firework. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Shots left the ground right into your grill. <laughs> That's the awesome. Was yeah, I saw that one. Yeah I, yeah, I heard it bounce off the hood. What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, look at that. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. You got me pretty good. <laughs> I thought those would explode. It's no good. Yeah, it would have went right in there. And <laughs> popped your radiator. <laughs> well, hey, I got the snowmobile here. Look at this. How did you load it by yourself? Oh, I backed it up to the snowbank and pulled it in. You wheelied it in? Wheelied it in. So, um, we we have a special video today. We're, we're going to lift, lift this. Lift up his snowmobile. That's right. We're going to lift this thing up. I told you guys, but... I gotta show you exactly how we're gonna do it with a tiny, tiny little string. So let me grab the, the certain tool and I'll tell you guys what it's all about. All right guys, so in this little bag, it's called a nifty lift. And a while back, a guy by the name of Albert emailed me, he's actually, he watches these videos. So he emailed me one day and he said, hey, I've got this product, it's called the nifty lift. And essentially, it is a block and tackle system. For those of you who have never seen this, it is a block and tackle system that is that pretty much gives you a mechanical advantage to lift up heavy objects. So say you have something that's 500 pounds, it's gonna take probably about 170 pounds of force to lift it. This tiny rope, however, this little shoelace looking thing has me questioning it. But block and tackle systems, they've been around forever. Uh, I believe Archimedes was actually the one that came up with this, or at least known to have come up with it. Um, so yeah, these have been around for a while. You'd see them you see them a lot on like boats lumber yards use them that kind of stuff So uh, good old Albert said I've got this nifty lift for you. I want you he pretty much dared me To lift my snowmobile with this using this little Little tiny rope. So that's what we're gonna be trying today. We're gonna try it I don't like to back down from a dare. So we're gonna do it now I want to see in the comments and I want to ask you too, Mike. Do you think it's gonna happen? Do you guys think this little rope with this block and tackle nifty lift system, do you think it's going to lift the snowmobile? You guys can put it in the comments right now before you skip ahead and watch what actually happens. What do you think, Mike? I don't know, but yeah, they make pretty good uh, synthetics and the polymer ropes. I don't know what this is or what's inside of it, but I bet it's up to the task. Stronger than my shoelaces, that's for sure. If you can looks see, like a Chinese finger strap. If you can see, it looks exactly like a Chinese uh, finger trap. So, I mean, that's pretty strong actually. So, I think it's gonna work. I wanna see what you guys think down below. So, again, this is the Nifty Lift block and tackle system. Um, it's supposed to give you a mechanical advantage. Like I said, if you have something that's 500 pounds, it's gonna be like 170 pounds of force that you need to pull in order to lift up whatever object that you're trying to lift. So I'm actually going to show you guys how it all runs down. I'm not gonna do that here because it's a little more difficult. So I'm gonna go to my office. I'm gonna show you how this works mathematically, how you can lift about 500 pounds with about 170 pounds of force. So run to the office real quick, show you guys how it's done, and then we'll go lift this thing. Bam. Okay guys, taking you to school today just to show you guys exactly how this nifty lift thing works because uh, it's pretty cool, I think, and it's good for you guys to know how it works. So, this beautiful illustration right here, drawn uh, by yours truly, shows you the nifty lift in action. We got our friend over here, he's got a cowboy hat on, he's smiling, he's having a grand old time, and he's lifting up this weight. In this case, the weight is gonna be the snowmobile. And here's our nifty lift. 
he pulls the rope, which go through these shivs, as you can see, I got them marked. These four shivs, the rope goes right through there, in through the blocks and attaches to the fixed block, which is this top one, by what is known as a becket. Okay, so the line is attached to the actual nifty lift. We have the fixed block on the top, we have the movable block on the bottom, we have our weight, we have the line feeding through it, and we have our happy friend over here pulling the line, lifting up the weight with ease because there's a mechanical advantage in using the nifty lift. So now you're asking, how are you gonna figure out the force that it takes to pull the snowmobile, Jeremy? Well, we have a formula for that. And that is force equals weight over mechanical advantage. So if we know what the weight is and we know what the mechanical advantage is, we know what force we're gonna have to apply to pull the snowmobile using the nifty lift. Amazing. So, bam, finding out mechanical advantage is a rule of thumb. If I were to draw a line through here, going across these strings, each time that the line crosses the string is a point of mechanical advantage, okay? So we got one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna draw a line because it would ruin my masterpiece, but the mechanical advantage in this situation is four. Got it crosses one, two, three, four. Mm. So going back to this, we know the weight of the snowmobile and I looked it up online. My snowmobile weighs about 491 pounds. So, and we know what the mechanical advantage is because we just figured it out. So that's four. Let's check this out. Some guy wrote these all down for you. So look, we got 491 pounds, the weight of my snowmobile over the mechanical advantage, which is four equals 122 pounds. So this is the theoretical amount of force we're gonna to need to apply to lift my snowmobile up. However, that is only theoretical. Look how sad he is now. His cowboy hat sideways, oh man, he's sad. That's only theoretical. We have to account for frictional loss. And how do you calculate frictional loss? Well, look here, I got it all written down for you as well. We got the total weight, you take 10% of the total weight and you multiply it by your mechanical advantage, which we said was four. So we got 10% of 491 equals 49.1 pounds. We multiply that by the mechanical advantage, which is four, and that gives us a total of 196.4 pounds. We take 196.4 pounds and we add it to the weight of the snowmobile and that gives us 687.4 pounds. We take that and we divide it once again by the mechanical advantage. So we're pretty much plugging in the original formula. Bam, this one right here. And coming up with an actual, the realistic amount of force that's gonna be needed to pull the snow wheel up, which is 171, and I put 0.75 pounds just to be, uh, be fancy like that, but 171.75 pounds of realistic force needed to lift my snowmobile. And there you have it, my friends. That's about how much weight we're gonna need to apply on this nifty lift to lift up the snowmobile. Pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. Anybody can figure out any um, amount of weight uh, they can lift with a nifty lift by using this formula. Um, the formula that I just showed you guys, I got all papers everywhere, but uh, yeah, pretty cool I think. Um, I want you guys to do something for me, a little bit of homework if you will. I want you guys in the comments to figure out how much force you need to lift your snowmobile using the nifty lift with the, uh, the formula I just showed you guys. I want to see in the comments and I'm going to throw all you guys who do it I'm going to throw you into a, a pile and I'm going to pick some names and I'm going to send out some ride more decals. So do it in the comments. Let me know what you come up with and also what snowmobile you're, uh, you're uh, lifting up. And yeah, so we're going to head back over to Mike's and we're going to lift this thing. Yeah! Mike's telling me, Mike's telling me that he's got a uh, tree somewhere. Where is it? Down in the woods. Down <laughs> Your sled will start, right? Oh, it should start. It's about 15 feet up in the air. Yeah. Actually, uh, if I didn't mention this already, um, Albert said that he actually created this thing because he was stuck out in the woods with his snowmobile because he's an avid snowmobile rider. And uh, he was stuck out in the woods one day. So he created this to uh, get himself unstuck whenever he's alone out in the woods and stuck on a snowmobile. So that's what he, 
that's what he told me and uh, I think it's pretty cool. So I said, hey, being a veteran, I want to help him out as well. But uh, I also think it'd be a really cool thing to have for myself if I get stuck somewhere. So we're going to try it. We're going to put the, the nifty lift to the test. If it doesn't work though, and I told him this, if it doesn't work, people are going to see it because I'm putting this video up no matter what. I think it's going to work, but I just let it, letting you guys know, letting him know if this doesn't work, I'm going to be kind of upset, but I have a good feeling about it. If you guys have ever seen block and tackle systems before, Mike, you know about them. They can lift some heavy stuff. So this is a smaller version of everything of the block and tackles I've seen but I think it's gonna do the job. Oh, I gotta get some gloves, my hands are freezing. All right, we got the nifty lift in the back, in the backpack. You wanna uh, film me starting this thing up? Yeah. Um, how many pulls? How many pulls? 30. I started it before it came over, so what do you think? Uh, I don't know, five. Five pulls? Oh, oh maybe you're gonna be right. Uh, looking like it. <laughs> oh no. Six. Six Alright, so we're going into the woods. Mike, you hopping on? Yeah. Okay, you wanna grab this? I'm filming, yeah. You film it. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Where's your helmet? Okay. I left my helmet at home. One you want to hook onto? Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh man, you're supposed to burn something. <laughs> well, what do you think? It definitely held a lot of rope swinging. In <laughs> I see a rope on it already. I think if we hooked on under this knot, we can lift you right here. What do you think? Think that'd work? Yeah. I'm gonna get your rope up there. Hook all the, I have three ratchet straps. See, my rope might be a little long. That's the thing. You think so? We'll make it work. Yeah, we'll figure something out. We're gonna put this nifty lift to the test. <laughs> all right, go for it, Mike. Throw it. Okay. This is gonna be like Indiana Jones. Like this one from the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's not, it's not coming undone, is it? <laughs> okay, first try. <laughs> Movie magic, here we go. Hey, you got it. Now I can go rope swinging. <laughs> this is gonna be how we lift, lift your sled. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the ratchet straps will all be just down here. Yeah, with a with a ring. Yeah, so this has to be in the section where there's only one rope. Yeah. So we'll do that. All right. So we have the rope to the tree branch. We got the nifty lift to the rope, and then we have this ring to the nifty lift, and then a larger ring for the ratchet straps. And that's how we do it. It's our whole system. You like that? I like it. What do you think, Mike? I think it's medieval. <laughs> I really like this uh, this ring. Your bumper's good? Your yeah, that should be good. <laughs> is that medieval or what? <laughs> it looks pretty crazy, huh? This is how Jeremy tortures his snowmobiles. He gets them all chained up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man. Yeah. I like it. I like the noise. <laughs> Chains. Alright, Mike. We got it all set up. We have our... Uh, little chisel here. <laughs> uh, 
feet are right through there. Yep. It's uh, <laughs> it's time to do this. This is the pulling chisel. You want to try it yourself, and then maybe both of us can go for it. All right. You're moving it. It's going. Oh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's impressive. That is impressive right there. How easy is it to pull? Rough on ice. It, yeah. Yeah, we're not exactly uh, yeah, on the very good ground right now. You coming down? <laughs> you got it, man. You want to give it a try? Yeah. Let's let's pull, let's both pull it, and we'll see how easy we can do it. Better not go on. All right. That was pretty fun. So there you have it. The nifty lift works. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? I think it, uh, it took some pulling, but it definitely. It did, yeah. It's uh, held up. We were actually pulling it on ice, so it's not the most ideal place to pull something, but we got it done. Yeah. It actually pulled this snowmobile up. Crazy. I think we ought to try this in the summertime, and uh, maybe we'll go bigger. I think more weight. I think we should put this to the ultimate test and see just how heavy of an object we can pull. Like your Jeep. 3,000 pounds, what do you think? Let's try it. I think so. You guys let us know in the comments. Give us some ideas. Some ideas on what you guys want to see us lift up. I'm going to go on the record and say we should lift your Jeep. We can try. We can try. So, this tiny little string right here. Maybe it would lift the Jeep, who knows, but let us know in the comments if we should try that and also give us some ideas of what we should try to lift with the nifty lift. I think we should pull trees out of the ground. We could pull trees out, we could do logging videos. So, yeah, so again, this is the nifty lift. Thank you, Albert, for sending it to me. Um, it's, it's a great product so far. Uh, it lifted my snowmobile up pretty easy if we weren't sliding on ice. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. So, if you guys wanna check out the nifty lift, it's in the description right now. Check it out. I think Albert's a great dude. I've been talking with him for a bit. And uh, I really appreciate his uh, service and also his product. I think we should find more stuff to lift in the future videos. I think so too. Again, let us know in the comments. Um, this was the sole purpose of this video. We're gonna end this video right here. Let me know if you guys like this. If you wanna hit up our social media, you guys gotta check out Mike first of all. This is Valhalla Mike. He's gonna take down, he's gonna take down Instagram single-handedly, taking down Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, and everybody. So you guys gotta follow Valhalla Mike. And uh, what's your announcement? Regarding the Instagram, my Instagram is now at 800. Yeah, we gotta, let's, okay. Let's get Mike to 1,000 tonight. Today, by tonight, Mike will be at 1,000. You guys gotta hit up his Instagram. Do it. It's in the description on the screen. If you want to check mine out, they're also down there, maybe on the screen too. And uh, yeah, so with that said, my friends, we're going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching this crazy video. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. What do you think? I think you should kaboom it. Kaboom it. You kaboom it. Kaboom. <laughs>